me. So I just I just want to come on here, be totally transparent, and just tell the whole basically tell the whole story. Like I got the videos, I'm gonna show y'all the video. Oh, like I'm gonna just what? put it all on the table and whatever whatever you know. Which it is what it is. So okay. basically, this is what happened. Uh -huh. So I went out to um. Uh -huh. We went out. We went out. We all went out as a group. This is not our first time going out. This is not our first time hanging out. Yeah. I went out for Mulan's birthday. Uh huh. We all had fun. Yeah. We all were drinking. We all was yeah. partying. Like it's never been like no super weird shit. When yeah. we got back home to the Airbnb, uh -huh. we were all still drinking. Like uh -huh. we were all still drinking. The music was playing. We was all like still vibing. I am recording. Yeah. <laughs> we were all still vibing. Like it was like it's like a group thing. So I read a whole bunch of stories where it's like a oh he um we was upstairs for two hours and all this type of stuff. First of all, when Mulan went to sleep it was on the couch she was asleep on the couch which is in the same floor same area as everybody was in when uh -huh. she went to sleep on the clock couch we made sure she was okay uh -huh. and then we just kept drinking like i didn't think it would be like a weird thing because no but she anyway like, i didn't think it would comments. be like a weird thing because we've uh -huh. always hung out like it's always been a friendly vibe uh -huh. so basically we ended up still keep drinking i'll uh -huh. tell you i'm saying the same shit but we was drinking uh -huh. she said stop we was drinking. It was a group thing. It was. It wasn't just me and him drinking. Kevin like Gates we were all Gates? just drinking, vibing, having a good time. So they said so she cheated with Kevin I Gates. I got sick and I ended up going to the bathroom and uh -huh. I was throwing up. Yeah. He came to the bathroom. He checked on me like you straight. Like this is somebody that I'm cool with. Like we when we got boyfriends, we look at them like our brothers. So it wasn't like a oh you know this is weird da 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 da. Like so he came to the bathroom. He checked on me. He's like you straight. I was like yeah I'm good. I'm finna go. So I Who's came outside saying? of the bathroom, girl don't lie, but um, I came outside of the bathroom, basically I said I was finna go, he offered to give me a ride home, he was like, oh no, you good, like you get an Airbnb, Who I, mean, offered? Get a, I got my Uber, oh, whatever case Kevin maybe. Gates, are we talking about Kevin Gates? I got Gates? my Uber, this too many people in here. You gotta start reading the comments. This he was like, he he had already ordered an Uber. So basically, he was like, you can, you know, you can ride with me. It's no problem. I didn't think nothing of it. I'm like, okay, it's cool. He's offering me a ride in an Uber. It's fine. Yeah, the comments is they said uh, you. throwing me off. It's fine. I took the Uber home. Y'all, the first thing I did when I got in my Uber is call Dwayne. That's why Dwayne is not saying that. I was on the phone with Dwayne the whole time I was in the car. Dwayne FaceTimed me the whole time. He was there when I got home. Like, he FaceTimed me the whole time. So, y'all trying to make it seem like I left with this man when I did. This man offered to add a stop on my Uber. We got in the car. I'm on the phone with my boyfriend the whole time. And my boyfriend made sure that I got home. Everybody trying to make it seem like I left with this dude. Like, oh, we was just, like, we was upstairs two hours. We never went upstairs. We was barely alone, ever. Like, we never was alone. We was always in a group setting. The only time we was alone was he said, oh, well, I'll add a stop on my Uber and you can come home with me. Mind you, I was on the phone with Dwayne the whole time. This is why you can't Some people try to put like this. And so for her to go on the internet and make it seem like, oh, her boyfriend, I don't even think that it would be a weird thing. Like, maybe I shouldn't have gotten an Uber with him. Maybe I shouldn't have accepted it. But at the same time, I didn't think that it was going to be a weird thing for me to get in an Uber with one of my friends. This is one of my close friends. Like, how could you ever try to accuse me of something doing, trying to be, like, malicious or evil towards you or try to step down on your boyfriend? It's always been a friendly thing. This hasn't been our first time hanging out it's never been out it, it wasn't our first time hanging out like we was cool like we was we was cool so it was like we all hung out as a like all we all hung out as a group it was never like on no weird shit like i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna show y'all the time on the video of now, somebody the hell, recording she us make a video like, mind you, her friend walked us down and said oh y'all it was never a secret that we was leaving like it was never a secret that we was getting in the car together her friend came down says like oh y'all leaving y'all just let me know when y'all get home safe it was never on no so she never told milan that she was weird. leaving like it's I I wasn't trying to hide nothing. We never tried to hide the fact that we left and I got in the Uber with her. Like it was not it, I'm with him. It was never right. no weird shit. People make it seem like it's weird shit because of who I am. Like at first, y'all can even believe me or not. Like I'm really not trying to like make people believe me, but I feel like I hate when people try to twist the story, and make it seem like it's something that it's not. If my man off so this video was recorded at six fourteen. It's a and Mulan sent me the video today. Mind you, I spoke to Mulan on the phone. What? So for her to even let her friend go on the internet and try to lie and make up makeup stories and and 
Because when I talked to Mulan, she's like, oh, oh Mulan okay, was drunk I and sweet. Like, I knew you wasn't like that, this and there. Okay. Um, you know, but I guess she talked to other people. Maybe I got a lot to say. I ain't going to be able to say it until she don't know. Whatever the case may be. But this life. So as long as I'm handling shit in real life, then it really don't matter to me. So she on the phone. This is at 6.16. This is at 6.16. It's a video of us getting in the Uber that somebody tried to record. It's a video of us getting in the Uber. Oh, I so one of her off friends right was being messy. The, with Dwayne. Oh, wait, the video says 6.14. 6.14 on the video. I got the video, me and Dwayne on the phone. Y'all, that ain't Kevin At 6.18. Like, I called my man. Me and my man were on the phone. My man know that I got home. What the fuck y'all think we went home together? It's not the fact of, oh, maybe I shouldn't have gotten in the car. Maybe I should have handled the situation better. When he offered me a ride, I should have said, you know, fuck it, no. I'm going to call my own Uber. You know what I mean? Like, hey, I'm going to call my own Uber. But at the time, I wasn't thinking in an evil way. I didn't think that nobody would try to take t this situation and twist it and manipulate right. it. And make it seem like that we tried to, you know, like that we was on some other shit. Because, my like, this is my real friends. This is somebody I look at as a friend. Like, this is somebody that I went home with, like, my friends, my, my, my real friends that know me, my real friends that know me is, like, you know, they don't look at me like that. So, this, I don't, I've never been on no weird shit with nobody. So, I feel like my real friends that really know me and know the type of person I am, I thought I looked at them more like my real, real friend. I'm thinking, like, you know, we know each other. We cool enough for, maybe I shouldn't have been comfortable enough to even get in a car with him because... I should have been on my toes thinking like, you know, this could be taken out. You should have never been that drunk. In, in so I apologize for that. I take accountability for just... drinking with him. I take accountability for looking at him as a friend. I shouldn't have been looking at him as a friend, even though we all hung out in the same space and it was on some cool shit. Yeah. So um, I take accountability for that. Like I shouldn't have been or I shouldn't have been nice to him. I should have just kept it with a stiff hand. Like, But at the same time, he wasn't on no weird shit. He's never tried to come at me. I've never tried to come at him. This was kind of like a brotherly, brotherly relationship that we was having. Like, we was just chilling. Like, it was just all some cool shit. And I feel like people try to make it seem like something that it's not. Um, I let everybody know behind the scenes that me and Dwayne was on the phone. Like, it was never a problem. People trying to send the video to Dwayne. Like, she even tried to DM to the video to Dwayne and make it seem like something that it's not. But regardless of the situation... Um, uh, I shouldn't have got in the car with the man, but I had I was not aware that it was just gonna be blown out. He was portion. looking out it for was her. Totally innocent. Yeah. You either believe me or not. Like I'm. Yeah, it I is what it is. I'm grown either. as hell. Like I feel like if, like if if I, I, bitches know how to be sneaky when they want to be sneaky. That was right. not me being sneaky. That was genuinely me just going home. Right. He offered to take me home. He he offered to add the fucking stop on the Uber. I said fine. Soon as I got in the car, me and my man on the phone. This man is worried about himself. He like five minutes away. He got dropped off first. Like he got dropped off first, and I went the fuck home on Facetime. I can't, time I can't believe this is a so thing. So trying to make it seem like oh, and I'm gonna get off because I feel like I've been on here too long explaining myself too long. I feel like I shouldn't even have to explain myself. Like you should. It just it is what it is. Like at the end of the day, this is a mess. I showed y'all what it was. That's the big video that everybody said, oh, bitch, you caught, I got a video of you. That's the big video of us getting in an Uber together. We never, I never went to his house. I never was with him. Like, we was all drinking. When it was time to go home, we went home. Like, so it is what it is. You either believe me or not. I really don't give a fuck. But, uh, yeah. Somebody calling, I think. Dwayne calling. I hate when this shit happens. When somebody call, this shit just go out of out of whack. Oh, oh yeah, she had that. Um. <clears throat> first of all, y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all right now how some people look at certain things with relationships, or how you look at friendships and relationships. You know, my mom always told me don't ever do no shit like this. Don't don't think a friend uh don't don't befriend your your friend's um boyfriend or your friend's girlfriend because shit can get messy like this. And my mama was absolutely right. Because if I, I don't have no intentions on doing shit with my friend's uh girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? But it always depend on how that nigga, which would be your friend, feel. You know what I'm saying? Now, 
in this situation, I feel as though he was trying to either be nice or trying to make sure she got home safe. Actually, it kind of debunks getting home safe because he got dropped off first. So I honestly wish that she would have just got her own fucking Uber because if he didn't have intentions on seeing it through, like seeing her get home safely, then it really wasn't a point adding a ride. So I absolutely see why Milan would feel a way. However, this was presented to Milan by these other bitches who was her supposed friends. But Neek's supposed to be your friend too. You know what I'm saying? But being nice gets you into shit like this. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a mess. Being nice gets you into shit like this. One, one, one in the chat. Something I learned this year, man, that nice shit. Nice guys always finish last, y'all. And you look stupid as fuck. You do. The nice ones always look stupid as fuck. 11-11 in the chat. You always look stupid as fuck. I think that Nick was probably like, um, I got to get an Uber, girl. That nigga was probably like, shit, I, I, I'm getting an Uber right now. I just add a ride because, you know, ain't no need to. You ain't even got to try and get one because, you know, I could just go ahead and get you one. I bet we get in a car. Nick on her side. He on his side. They both minding their business. The problem is these messy bitches who are these other friends hating, making it something that it's not. You know what I'm saying? And now Milan, first of all, Milan, you shouldn't be drunk sleep with your man. You shouldn't be drunk sleep and your man is up with a whole bunch of other bitches in the house. That is a hell no. I'm always right here with mine. <laughs> or she is absolutely always right there with me. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no way in the fuck I'm like this. And TT in a house full of niggas. What? If anything, I'm like this then. <laughs> Bitch, I'm knocked out holding her. Not because I'm insecure. It's because you can't have a house full of people. A, B, you're asleep. C, your man, he got, he can talk to other people. Ain't nothing wrong with talking to other people, right? But when you can't see it, when you in a house with people, you don't know what's going on. Bro, it's just not a good thing. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like she played herself. She played herself. And now these friends has made it absolutely messy, which that's what bitches do. That's what I was trying to tell y'all with this whole situation we got going on. This shit messy. Why you got to message somebody that your nigga got in a, uh, her nigga got in an Uber with one of y'all friends. And it ain't even like that. <laughs> like. Meanwhile, she was on the phone with Dwayne the whole time. And y'all know that shit. Y'all know that's not cap. And then sent him a DM. It's just hate. People are so vindictive and they be hating, y'all. Real shit. Niggas be hating. <laughs> okay? Niggas be hating. Do you hear me? That's why it's so important for people to focus on their own shit. And this was another reason for me to understand that. Thank you, God. Grandma, one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Somebody done slapped me in the face with it again. You know what I'm saying? But listen, y'all. This should be a lesson learned. Maybe a lot of y'all wouldn't do this shit. But this just like... Yeah, I, I can never tell a time where I could say... I was knocked out in the crib. And my girlfriend was up talking to a whole bunch of other people. Especially not... Let's just go... Damn sure not after 30. Hell no. Nah. When I was in my 20s, probably was a girl. I called my girlfriend, child, and she was in there fucking with other people. Wasn't never my girlfriend in the first place. You know what I'm saying? But if you supposed to be my nigga or whatever, it wouldn't even went like that. First of all, why she drunk sleep and he leaving anyway? That nigga making sure neat, good, <laughs> and get to the crib. But his girlfriend sleep in the house. Why we not cussing his ass out? Why are we coming for Neek? This is it's, it's no reason to come for Neek in this situation. Girl, she took the ride. Like, oh, I bet. Probably drunk, just talking. I. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, like, he was like, yeah, all right, you sleep? I right, bet. I'm fuck this shit. I'm about to go to the crib. 
So he gets over to go to the crib and then he decide, hey, uh, you want me to add on the ride? Because shit, we're going the same way. It was probably like that. You know what I'm saying? Just simple little chap shit. That's all this is to me. These niggas is young and I don't know why they take this type of shit so seriously, but probably because they friends be fucking with they friends, girl. I don't even care. But anyway, um, let's just finish this part of the video because it's more to this. Okay. One thing I can't take is a snake. You bitches have no morals, no class, no grace, and not a not a ounce of loyalty in your bones. Just a she ain't even spell ounce right. <laughs> Just a bunch of mileage on y'all vaginas. Cover up with lace wigs, designer and BS. See y'all when people say shit like this, that's a sign of hate for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, what what is all this for? Why do you have to bring my designer up in it? <laughs> why why you got to bring my diamonds in this? What did my diamonds and my designer ever do to you? Y'all, that that be a huge sign of jealousy to me. Like when people start saying shit like that, like nigga just because you I hate what people say to me. Just because you uh been or just because you got this or just cuz you got that. Nigga, what the fuck that got to do with you eating a cereal this morning? Well, before you left? What that got to do with that? Niggas be hating y'all. There should never be a thought in, in my in any young woman's mind that should make you want to mess with your friend's spouse or any man that they communicate with on the daily basis ever. It's tacky and unclassy. <laughs> Neek, you're a red flag. Stay away from my friend. You are the lowest of the low. And when I catch you, I'm running in your mouth. Like, bitch, what? And you think we about to fight? And I wasn't with your nigga? Bitch, bye. People are crazy. <laughs> this, this lets me know even more why I don't need friends. What the fuck Chris got going on? I had to shut you down. Heard it all before. Uh, but your mind ain't working now. Uh. Look who's hurting us. See, I had to shut you down. I am up. My bad, y'all. My bad. I could have looked bit too much high. My bad. Damn, bro. Damn. Your lies ain't working now. See, I had to shut you down. Hey, heard it all before. Uh, but your mind ain't working now. Look who's hurting us. See, I had to shut you down. I, at least he happy. <laughs> He's singing it off. I get a little bit too much high. Yo, he just singing it off. Damn. Yo, lies ain't work. I'm not going to lie. I'm glad he happy. And I'm glad they ain't posting no mess about him. Listen, he had to sing real quick. I ain't mad at that. Y'all, sometimes you just want a nigga to be happy, bro. But, um, all right, listen, that's all I got. Um, I just, I, I don't believe it. I think it's cap. I feel like that's why Neek not making a video. She might end up making one because, bitch, I would have. Let me get this coin real fast. But, um, I, I genuinely think if anybody should get cussed out, it should be old dude. Uh, whoever this girl is who wants to fight Neek and all this shit, bitch, is a hater. She's a hater. Uh, the Princess Richie, she she don't even have nothing to do with it. And she want to fight. Like, girl, get the fuck out of here. She's trying to act like she just, you know what I think it is? I think she's jealous at the fact that her friend is cool with Neek. You know, I think that's the problem, honestly. And that's why she want to go in people's mouths and shit. I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I'm not about to catch a charge because uh, you think... Or excuse me, I think that you did something with my friend, boyfriend. Uh, absolutely not. But um, I'm sure more will unfold with this story. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Uh, I randomly got into this because Neek went live and, you know, the league told me what was going on. So, yeah, that's where we at. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.